We have a little bit or a lot of Kazi to do today, depending on how things go. It is overcast, which is pretty useful, and that's why I'm going to attack the deep south, clean it up, get it ready for when the Angrecoids come out. Whether they're coming out today or not depends on how brave I feel. I'm still with temperatures of 15 degrees Celsius, but they're not gonna drop to 14. So, meanwhile, if I feel brave, We'll add that to this video. Otherwise, this will just be a quickie. The plan of action today is take the Vando rack, which now serves as the hanger for my Neo Stylus orchids, as well as my Vanda Rainbow Forest, and we have to put that to the west side which I have already cleaned up and that is ready to go. So first course of action. And then of course I do want to wash that little kind of trellis piece that I have there. It looks a little bit gunky and I have to weed out everything by the hedge there. Get that cleaned up, swept up, etc. I didn't want it to be wet, but cousin, it leaked a little bit when I watered him this morning. <laughs> And of course, Stan the man could either now be hung onto the east side, not entirely sure about that either. What I am 100% sure about, we've got to get this corner cleaned up. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that you clicked on the video. Venga, vamos. First things first with Stan the man, I have to get him off the fence because I have him tied there as well for eventualities seeing as it's so, so windy at the moment. That's the first thing I need to get done. I remember last year, I forgot that I, he was tied up and I pulled him with the stand and everything. <laughs> and I was like, dang, I almost took the ridiculous Lelia rack with me. <laughs> so let's not get ahead of ourselves, just step by step, pole pole sana, which means slowly in Swahili, there he is now. Let's get him secured. As mentioned last year, I forgot him being all tied up. And this, <laughs> when I went to pick him up, oh boy. It was a, you know, stop my heart for a moment right there. <laughs> That'll remind me. Let's keep that up there. <laughs> <laughs> Visual reminder. <laughs> I better put the brakes on. <laughs> there we go. Now I can get the Neo Stylus out and water them. Rainbow Forest, my little weirdo. <laughs> and my Neo Stylus proper. El Clásico. There we go. Let's give them some water. Meanwhile, I have about 75 parts per million, just short of 100 parts per million of calcium nitrate in this water. I just diluted what I used for the Lodigesii. Crossed with Skinnery, I diluted that with plain RO water. It's so windy today, I need to make sure that I don't burn the roots because they'll dry out relatively quickly. So I can be doing this little mixture all day long in intervals that'll give them a good little helping of calcium nitrate. The other two days I've been just doing water with seaweed. Just give them a little bit more of a hormone push, you know? Help them out. And my little weirdo is growing roots. It's fantastic. All these gorgeous dark, dark root tips all around the orchid, everywhere I look. It's amazing, let me, everywhere I look. How about everywhere you see, there. It's amazing, there's branching going on. Lovely jubbly. Oh, while we're at it, check out this side. Ooh, let's give it some water. Uh, there, look at all those. <laughs> A beautiful sight. I always struggle keeping roots intact that has anything to do with a rinko stylus in it. My humidity is not, not high enough. So the roots stop growing very quickly, unfortunately, making it awkward. My rainbow forest is also starting with some new roots, but it's a little bit reluctant. 
think I'm gonna have to put another garbage bag around the base here very, very soon, just to encourage the root growth a little bit more. But for now, this will do as a little pick me up in the morning. And we'll do this two or three more times throughout the course of the day. Thankfully, I would say it's a bit overcast today because now this season, I can't leave these outside on the rack all day long. When the sun comes over to the west side, it gets brutally hot here. Yes, love it. But they won't love it. They'll get scorched. So now these are on my daily rotor to move them into the blooming alley where they have shade. But not today. This is good. We're just going to keep pumping them full for the rest of the day. Now, on to the deep south. If there's any disturbance on the tripod, meantime, I'm so sorry. Oh, here comes the sun. Hello. That's nice. But if there's any jiggle on the tripod, it's because King is obviously right in the way again. And I'm using one of his dog food bags as my garden rubbish. So, sorry if that tripod starts to jiggle. I try to move him out of the way. And it might work for the whole time I'm doing this. It may not. He gets a, he gets a little bit forgetful sometimes. <laughs> Especially when I get down here. And when you already have a wet spot and you can't sweep, we will use the liquid sweeper. <laughs> High tech patio cleaner, hose and jet stream. Much better. What do you think? <laughs> well, okay. I don't think I'm going to put the Angrecoids out in this video. We'll make a separate video because I have to do something for my Crestwood. Got to raise it up to see that I don't have to cut any roots off. But for now, we can at least get the grating down. Come sa. I've left room for expansion down here because what I'm planning to do with a Crestwood is going to need an expansion. So the Crestwood is going to go into the far corner, but the grading will move out. We'll probably do that in the next video. Forgive me. I don't like to move heavy orchids with shaky hands. So quick video. Phase two of the Grow Season proper reconfiguration is complete. So now one more night just to make sure and then we'll bring the Angrecoids out. Meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of what is going on on the patio. I thank you so much for being here. Your time, your support is greatly appreciated. I wish you a fabulous day on that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.